Hey DIYers, Jared with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing how you would get power to the Honeywell Lyric system. Uh, now the Honeywell Lyric uh, it is able to be powered up by uh, its own custom wire if you wanted to, but normally we actually do recommend that you use what's called uh, the Honeywell LT cable. Uh, we do sell that cable uh, separately on our site. Uh, when you were to purchase the Lyric, it doesn't actually come with the LT cable. Um, so sometimes you would need to purchase it separately. Um, but we do also actually have kits that come with the cable as well. Um, some of you may have already may already be familiar with it, some of you may not. So this video is basically just demonstrating on basically how to wire the system with the LT cable and what the LT cable is. So um, as you can see, we have the LT cable right here. Um, at the one end of it, we do have the uh, the connectors for the transformer. So we do have, as you can see, we have the uh, positive connector, which is red, and then we have black, which is the negative connector. And then as you can see at the end of it, uh, we do have the little sp uh, spade lugs in order to wire these to the transformers, I mean, to the terminal screws on the transformer. Um, and then as you can see on the other end of it, we have a barrel plug connector. Now, if you were using a custom wire f uh, to power up your Honeywell Lyric system, instead of using the LT cable, uh, there is you know, some custom wire that you can use, but there, are, there is a specific um, specification limit to how far you can run that cable from the transformer to the Honeywell Lyric. So if you're using 22 gauge cable, the furthest you can have the wire run from the transformer to the Honeywell Lyric is about eight feet long. Um, if you're using 22 gauge cable, same thing applies, but you can actually go about 13 feet with that uh, cable or that wire. Um, now, lastly, if you're using 18 gauge cable, the furthest you can have that power run from the transformer to the Lyric is 20 feet. Um, now that is the furthest, uh, that is the furthest wire run that we recommend you go uh, for the Honeywell Lyric. If you do go over the specifications, you could um, give, give yourself some issues with the Honeywell Lyric, uh, especially with power, because the system would not be receiving enough power. So <clears throat> uh, some of the, con the conditions or the issues that you would have is a frequent low battery trouble that you would, you would uh, probably have. Uh, you could have some uh, trouble conditions or low battery trouble conditions coming up as well. Um, plus even a low battery restore condition too. So to avoid all of that, we do recommend that you stay within those, uh, the, the limitation or the specifications for the uh, cable of a custom wire. Um, now the Honeywell Lyric does not uh, come with a built-in barrel plug, um, like the previous Honeywell Lynx touch panels do. So Honeywell did come out with basically another addition to the LT cable to substitute for that barrel, uh, barrel plug not being built into the system, and that is this little device right here. Um, this little device, it basically allows us the Honeywell Lyric to use a barrel plug. Um, as you can see, we have the um, <clears throat> little wiring end right here, which is the red for positive, and then we have black for negative. Um, you're not going to have the uh, little spare or the uh, spade lugs as the other end of the LT cable does because this is actually being going to be wired to the back of the Lyric panel. Um, and I will demonstrate how to wire the cable to the transformer and the Honeywell Lyric very shortly. Um, but this is going to be wired run to the back of the Lyric. And then as you can see on the other side, we have the barrel plug uh, connector. So this would allow you to have the Lyric connect via barrel plug. So <clears throat> now the uh, transformer that actually comes with the Honeywell Lyric, it's going to look so like this. Um, so basically when you actually do receive it, there's going to be a little neoprene boot that's going to be at the bottom of this right here covering these little terminal screws, right? Um, in order to use the LT cable, you actually would need to take off the boot. Um, unfortunately, we did not have the boot, so um, for this video, you know, we're not going to be able to show it, but when you do receive a brand new Lyric, you will have that on there, and you are going to have to take it off in order to wire the LT cable to the terminal screws. Um, so as you can see at the bottom of this, though, we have the uh, negative, which is right here, and then we have the positive. So when you're wiring the LT cable 
uh, to the transformer, as I already explained, we have the positive and then we have the negative. So <clears throat> positive is going to be wired uh, to this side. Positive is going to be wired over to this side and the negative is going to be on this side. So I'll show you a quick demonstration of how to wire that to the transformer real quick. Um, we do have the negative right here and you can see you have the terminal screw right here. So what you want to do is just wire it, put the uh, spare lug or the spade lug underneath that, tra that uh, terminal screw. You're just going to screw it in. And then you have the positive, which is going to go into the positive side. Again, you're going to slip it underneath that screw. So hold it in place. And you're going to just screw that in real quick. And as you can see, you are already set to go with the transformer. Um, tug it on a little bit. It's nice and uh, secure. Wouldn't really suggest tugging on it too much, but uh, just to show you that it is nice and secure. Um, I am talking on it. <laughs> now, if you were um, wiring the this device or this little piece to the back of the Lyric system, uh, we do have the Honeywell Lyric right here. Uh, it's normally on the back plate over here on this corner, but I took it off for the demonstration purposes. So if you look at the back of the Honeywell Lyric, um, you'll see these little terminals right here. So. As you can see, you have GND, which is ground, and then you have plus nine VDC, which is for the positive. So um, as I did explain, we have the red cable, which is the positive, and then we have the black cable, which is negative. So <clears throat> what you would do is um, you would take the uh, red, which is the positive, you would wire it to the nine VDC, which is right here, and then you would take the black, uh, cable, which is the negative, and you would wire it to the uh, ground, which is DND. If you are trying to power up the Lyric um, in general, right, as you can see, you have the battery backup right here. So anytime you are powering up the Lyric, you want to plug in the battery backup first. So as you can see, we have the uh, little connector right here. And if you look right next to the battery backup, you have the um, connection right down here. So what you would do is just you take the connector, You'd put it right there. You'd wire it down into that little corner and just pop it in. Once you do that, then you can proceed with uh, moving ahead and powering up the Honeywell Lyric system. Now, if you were uh, wall mounting the Honeywell Lyric system, uh, there is a way to specifically mount the the Lyric so that you're not um, so you can have the Lyric completely flush with the wall. So you don't have it bowing out or anything like that. You don't have any issues trying to install it. Um, now to show you real quick, we have the back plate on our little display wall right here. Um, this is the back plate you would use when you're wall mounting the Lyric. So as you can see right in the middle, you have a basically a cutout to give you enough room to create a hole so you can pass the LT cable in the wall and try to fish it through. So to make sure it's completely flush, you would want to definitely have the LT cable uh, going through this hole. And then once you've done that, obviously you would plug in uh, the Honeywell Lyric to the barrel plug connector and you would just pop it on. So as you can see, it is uh, flush right now. I don't have the connector plugged in, but even if it was, it would still uh, be completely flush with the wall. So when you're wall mounting it, just keep that in mind. Um, now, if you were using a desk mount for the Honeywell Lyric, it doesn't matter where you're plugging it in or where the cable's running. As long as you have it plugged into an outlet, you're good to go. So as you see, we have the LT cable right here. This is the other end that you would wire to the back of the Lyric so you can have that barrel plug connection. Um, so right here we have the uh, black, which is negative, and then we have the red, which is positive. So as I did uh, mention earlier, we have right here in the back of the Lyric, we have the GND, which is ground, and then we have the nine plus volt, uh, nine plus or plus nine VDC, which is basically nine volt DC. So um, what you want to do is you're going to take this positive, you're going to wire it to the plus nine VDC. And then on the top, there's going to be a little screw that you're going to want to screw in right here. 
until it is nice and snug. And then we're gonna take the negative and wire it to the GND. Now, as you can see, there is a GND or a ground on this side. You are not gonna wire it over here. You're going to put the negative on this side right next to the plus nine VDC. Now, as you can see, it is nice and snug. And now all you have to do is just plug in the LT cable on the other end. Now, uh, lastly, the last part that I want to just throw in there is <clears throat> for the transformer, um, for the Honeywell Lyric, when you are plugging into an outlet, you want to make sure that you're plugging into an outlet that is not controlled by a switch. You know, if you were to turn off the switch, the whole the outlet shuts off and then you're going to turn off the power to the Lyric and it's going to running, be running on the battery backup. You want to plug it into an outlet that is not controlled by a switch so you don't have that issue at all. So as you can already see, um, as I did explain before, when you are trying to, or when you are mounting the Honeywell Lyric to the wall, you're gonna wanna run the cable uh, through the back plate. So I have already um, wired the, or have already fished the cable through the wall. Um, now to show you, uh, basically just plug in the Lyric and powering it up and how simple it is. So what you wanna do is you have the uh, one end of the barrel plug right here and then you have the other end of the back of the Lyric. So what you're gonna do is just basically plug that in. We're going to wire it back up or just mount it on the back plate and you are good to go. So that is how you would run power to the Honeywell Lyric system. If you have any questions about the Honeywell Lyric or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications on future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. Give yourself a great day.